All right, welcome back to the shop. Check out my empire of dirt is what I call it. All my clunkers that are getting ready to be restored. Little Fiat's up next, Jeep Willys is up next. All these cars are in some sort of queue to be repaired. This is the two-stroke turbo channel. And although we don't work on two-stroke cars every day, we like to film cars that are interesting or have interesting problems or somehow have a connection to being uh, video worthy, you might say. So this is one of those cars. This is a 2005, 2006 Toyota Prius. They're fantastic cars. They're based off of a Corolla, but they have a hybrid hy hybrid powertrain. And this one, <laughs> oh, oh my, I've never seen this before. You gotta check this out. So the customer wrote me a long note about what's going on with the car, which he doesn't know. Um, so the data information is on these two screens, the one that's very, very horizontal there and the typical TV screen here. Uh, let me show you, I'm gonna turn this car on and you gotta check this out, I've never seen this. This has so many warning lights on, I don't even know where to begin. Every possible warning light is on. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, hit, hit the power button. Okay, so the car is ready to drive, just turned on. I mean, we've got the seat belt light on, which is fine, the brake light, the open door light, a big red exclamation, which I've never seen before, the airbag light, the yellow exclamation point, ABS, VSC, check engine, TPMS, maintenance required, but yet the car is running. I don't get it. Um, I suppose I could turn on some more lights. There is a weird noise coming back from the battery vent. That's the hybrid battery vent right back. Am I touching that? There's a vent right there by that seat belt. Right, 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 right there. And that usually means that there's a problem with the hybrid battery. Ha, ah, I don't, I don't know where to begin. I mean, there are so many lights on. So I'm gonna scan the computer, see what it says. Uh, this is a new one on me, so. I can deal with one or two lights, but all of them? Woo! Okay, so we just pulled this thing into the shop. This is the Prius with all the lights on. Let's see if I can get it to fire up again. I'm surprised it even fires up. The engine comes on right away, which uh, is a little surprising. But if you look closely here at this um, battery schematic, it's charging the battery like crazy. That means the battery's dead. This car just got here, um, and if we go to consumption, let's see here, it's getting, whoops, turn that light off, 10.8 miles per gallon in the last nine miles. I think we've got a dead battery problem, so. Ah, oh boy, I don't know what to tell this guy. He's not going to be happy. Okay, I got my code reader out on this Prius here with all the lights on the dash. And we've got 16 codes. Replace hybrid battery pack. Battery pack is weak. Weak. Uh, and we've got a speed sensor issue as well. So all the above, reading all the, oh my gosh, 16 codes. I don't know how this guy's gonna, all these airbag codes, 16, oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think that might do it for this old car. Might be the last nail in the coffin. These are good old cars. I'm surprised it's having that much of an issue, but okay. All right, so I wanna talk to you a little bit more about this. 2005-2006 Toyota Prius some of you out there may be saying well the guy deserves it it's a hybrid you know we hate hybrids they use lithium they take other cars off the road they don't use enough gas let me tell you this car belongs to a 17 year old kid who's smart strong and really motivated he works really hard he bought this car with all the money he had from a family or friend. Supposedly it was good. He repainted the hood because the paint was peeling. He couldn't afford a lot. It's not really fair that the hybrid battery's gone bad on him. It's only got 186,000 miles, which is not a lot. 
typically these things start having battery problems around 400 K that's like usually on the taxis but this one for whatever reason is failing early and you know a hybrid pack replacement is about 1500 bucks I don't think a 17 year old without a job that's studying hard in school <clears throat> can afford it so I feel really bad uh, I, I'm probably gonna end up donating something to help him along the way but just wanted to clarify the situation here it belongs to a 17 year old junior in high school it's doing really good and uh, it just kills me when they have this kind of a problem that costs this much money to take the car off the road possibly we'll see but um, I don't know well I'm optimistic I'm gonna hope for the best and like I said I'm gonna give them a good deal if they do and decide to go with a replacement rebuilt pack or whatever so just want to clarify what's going on there belongs to a high school junior.